politics. <laughs> Next to the red hot Republican race for the White House, Donald Trump continues to lead the pack with a big target on his back, not only from within his own party, but angry left wing protesters who were out in force last night in Utah. ABC's Mary Bruce is on the political beat once again for us this morning. Hi, Mary. Hi, Paula. Good morning. Well, with those big contests in Utah and Arizona just around the corner this morning, Donald Trump is under attack from all sides. Republicans, Democrats, even international hackers all trying to stop him. I think we get to the convention, it's over. I don't think there is going to be much of a dispute. This morning, as Donald Trump tightens his grip on the nomination, the Republican establishment is making a last-ditch attempt to take him down. There are only two candidates that have any plausible path to winning the Republican nomination, either Donald Trump or me. Ted Cruz, who spent Friday touring the Arizona-Mexico border, is racking up support from Republicans who see him as their best hope to block Trump. And now Mitt Romney says he will vote for Cruz in Utah's primary next week, saying he's the only one who can deny Trump the delegates to win the nomination, forcing a contested convention. Trump fired back on Twitter, saying Mitt Romney is a mixed up man who doesn't have a clue. No wonder he lost. Overnight in Utah, he went a step further, questioning Romney's religion. Are you sure he's a Mormon? Are we sure? He choked, he choked, it was so sad. This as Trump comes under attack from a barrage of takedown ads. $63 million in counting now spent on ads like this. Trump, the worst kind of politician. And now with just three days until those next big contests, the candidates are busy all weekend campaigning in Utah and Arizona as they prepare for a long slog to the convention. Dan. Another busy stretch ahead of us, though. Mary Bruce, thank you.